Hey everyone, Shalasada here and welcome to another Dauntless video. The Dark Harvest will be upon us again, which is the Halloween event that Dauntless brings each year during the end of October. This is a real quick video from me to tell you about the stuff coming to the game and a little bit of speculation. The event will start on October 17th, which is this Wednesday on patch day. There will be cosmetic changes to the game, more pumpkins, strange signs appearing everywhere, overall the Halloween team will be coming to the game. The blue messages left will contain strange codes left by a code called the Unseen. What that brings, many of us can only speculate, but do expect some interesting stuff to start happening in the game. Limited time cosmetics and other stuff will be available in the store of the game starting October 19, so if you wish to spend some currency on them, be sure to check it out. Ramsgate will get a strange new look and transformation, becoming a scary pumpkin infested town. But I do not think this is purely a cosmetic since we might be getting a new behemoth alongside it. The developers have teased it and considering there is a special arrival planned for October 24th, everyone's marks, including mine, are that we will see the new guy then. What can we say about him? Well, two things are 100% sure. First, he will be a number one, for sure, and secondly, he will most likely have abilities relating to portals. I also hope we get some new nice islands, since he will have connections to portals, maybe we can get some types of darkness islands, which combine different parts of all the other ones. This is purely speculation, but it would be nice to get new environments. I also hope they bring aerial combat sooner to the game, it is still in the roadmap and I think now it will be a good time to hit it. Regarding the behemoth, I want him to be hard and tough the same as Shroud when he released. Shroud was at the top of the top and I hope his brother in elements will also be. I want a high end position behemoth available only in heroic maelstrom like Shroud and Erzakari with new mechanics and a punch to pack. We desperately need challenges and new peaks to climb, not something to entertain us as more to challenge us. I think that is what the game needs now, new additions and new challenges. Austin repeaters went well considering the slow development, but if we get a new behemoth now, it will be a good change and nice progress in the development pace. This was everything for this video, if you enjoyed it, like it, if you didn't, dislike it. Drop me a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions you might have. Check the links in the description to my Twitter, Twitch and Discord community. And finally guys remember, if you wanna see more video game and music content, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in order to get notifications. Shadow Strider out! Take your time.